Hello you guys, today I'm going to show you how to install your own Siri background theme. It's not that hard uh, if you know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, I don't recommend doing it. It depends on going into your device and implanting files. So if you don't know what that is, then I wouldn't recommend doing it. But you can watch the whole tutorial and decide if you want to do it. Anyway, first off, you want to download iExplorer, and this is what it does is uh, just views the file on your device, and you can upload files to it. Also, so uh, it's for PC and Mac, requires iTunes, which uh, you should have. If you don't, I'm not sure why you wouldn't, but I'm sorry if you don't have it, then you have to find a different one. Anyway, download that. Go open up iExplorer, plug in your device, and you should have what you see here. And what you want to do is go into your device. Sorry about that. Go into var. It's at the bottom here. Go into stash. Fourth from the bottom. And go to themes, which is third from the top. Uh, I'm not sure if it'll be dot, whatever. It may be different, different for all devices or not, but as long as it says themes, double click on it and uh, here's all the themes that have been installed, you might not see any but you might see a couple oh yeah, and what you need for your iPhone, you need to install Winterboard if you don't have Winterboard, go install it from the store and uh, it's free and it allows you to enable themes from your uh, for your device and uh, I've already created a Siri theme, so uh, here it is. I will install it, or I will <laughs> install it. I'll put it in the description, and uh, it's kind of like a lighter theme. I've created one that's a darker sort of rock theme. And by the way, they have to be called this. They have to be named this. These two have to be named this exact thing and uh, in this exact folder. So I'll show you how to do that right now. Go into themes, right uh, click on themes, right click on themes, select a new folder. So now at the bottom you'll have an uh, untitled folder. What you want to do is right click on it, add a new folder to that. So here there'll be a new folder, right click on it, add a new folder to do that. I'm sorry. Double click on it, then go add new folder. So now you should have three folders like this, and uh, what you want to do is now go to your, go to uh, uh, unzip the files that I've included, and uh, you have these two and uh, what you want to do is select them both and drag them into a folder the last folder you created so just make sure it's selected here the last folder you created in themes Sorry. and uh, select these two both and drag them you get these uh, this jailbreak warning thing just click do not show this message again just click OK and you'll have that so now you have inside your folder your two uh, images and make sure if you want to create them make sure they're .png okay and uh, now we're going to name these folders so what we want to do is uh, the last folder you created you want to do com.apple.springboard okay make sure you spell everything right Next folder up, you're gonna wanna click on it until it just kind of until your cursor comes up and bundles. Okay. Hit enter. And this the first folder you created is uh, your name. So whatever you want to name your theme, your Siri background. I'm just gonna go Alex's Siri background two. And make sure it's dot theme. Okay. 
OK. Hit enter. So now you have bundle and inside of your theme you have bundles, column apple X springboard, and inside column apple that springboard is your two images. And if you don't have that, please uh, rewatch this video. Otherwise, it won't work. So now I will cut to uh, my device, which is the iPhone 4S, and I will show you how to enable the theme within Winterboard. Okay, so I'll do that. Okay, so once you have done and installed the theme like I showed you, you're going to want to go into Winterboard, go select themes, and unselect any Siri background themes that you have installed beforehand or selected beforehand and select the one you have just, recre just recreated and go back to uh, Winterboard and hit respring and once your device respring's mine takes a while so be patient I think uh, it'll be a little faster because it was the actual So once you have uh, respring it, resprung it, is that you say it? Uh, you should have your new theme installed. So there you go. Try it out. Hello Siri. And there you go. There's your new theme. And I'll also show you the other one that I will include in the description also and uh... Oops. I'll just cut it up okay so here is the other Siri background theme that I have created hello Siri hello. and that's it Thanks for watching you guys, please comment, like, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. One thing I forgot to mention is how to make one of these Siri backgrounds, and um, I created mine in After Effects, but you could use Photoshop or any similar um, graphic photo editing program. So what I did was I got a high resolution texture off of Google Images, and um, I downloaded it, placed it in After Effects, and I just made a composition that is, I believe, 640 by 960, or whatever the iPhone resolution is. And um, I just placed it um, in the composition and I edited it. So it's uh, it worked well and it looked good. And the second image, I had to... Uh, cut the comp size down to 640 by 250 I believe uh, you can just use my images that I included in the description in the backgrounds as templates if you want to and because the second one I'm not sure why but you have to like mask out bottom and sort of like add a, a drop shadow for the top for the alpha I'm not sure why you have to do that but it's what I am um, already on the city store what those I, I kinda like took the templates off of those UI images off the city store and kinda like used them in my projects so uh, sorry if that's hard to understand but uh, that's how you do it and make sure they're PNG and uh, are named exactly what they are, I'll put the names in the description and please comment some textures if you want I'll make a texture for you and I'll add some in the future so uh, that's about it, thank you and uh, have a nice day